Hi, so this butternut squash risotto is amazing. Uh, before I gave up dairy and things like that, I used to be obsessed with risotto. It was like my ultimate comfort food. And I spent so long trying to kind of recreate it and get the same thing, and this really works. So we bake and then puree the butternut squash with apple cider vinegar and tahini and things like that, and then blend it into the brown rice, and it's amazing. I use short grain brown rice for this because the texture and the feel of it is much more similar to risotto rice and it's just amazing. So you need to start by just cooking the rice. So you want three quarters of a cup of the short grain brown rice. If you don't have short grain, that's fine. And then just throw that into saucepan with some boiling water. Then in order to get the rice tasting its absolute best, I like to cook it just with a couple of drops of apple cider vinegar in it so it absorbs that as it cooks and likewise a little bit of salt. So then yeah, then we'll just put that on to start cooking so yeah, for about 45 minutes. So while your brown rice starts cooking, you want to deal with the squash. Um, so you either, I like just cutting the skin off, but if you prefer peeling it, then peel it first. And you want two squash. And you just want to cut it up. Great knife. Um, and then, yeah, I just cut off the skin. So we bake it with cumin and paprika, which makes it taste amazing. And then we blend it. After that, we blend about three quarters of it. And it's just so amazing. It works so well as a risotto. So you want to cut it into pretty small pieces so that it cooks quite quickly. Throw it all into a big baking tray. So then once you've finished cutting your squash, then you just want to sprinkle a bit of cumin. And a little bit of paprika over it. And a little bit of salt. And then we're going to just sprinkle a bit of olive oil over that and then put that in the oven and that roasts sort of 15 to 20 minutes until it's sort of nice and tender, at which point we're going to puree about three quarters of it. So once your squash is cooked and looks all delicious, then we're ready to put it all together. So you want to blend about three quarters of your squash. So put that into a food processor. Keep all the oil in it because it's full of delicious herby flavours. Perfect. And then we keep the rest to just stir in later. And then we want to add some apple cider vinegar and then some nutritional yeast if you can't find this I mean I get it online it tastes really cheesy it's deactivated yeast, it's a totally different strain to normal yeast. Do not use normal yeast. If you don't have it, just use nothing. But if you want it, yeah, you'll find it online and it adds a nice sort of cheesy flavour. So you just want to blend that plus a lemon. Which really brings out all the flavours. And then a little salt and pepper. And 
and then yeah we'll just put the lid on and blend that up until it forms an amazing puree as it blends you can just add a little bit of water on it to help it blend and be a bit smoother a bit lighter Once that has blended into something that looks like this, so it's really smooth and creamy, you can see it's really, really delicious, then we, we just want to pour that into our brown rice, which is obviously finished cooking. Just want to mix that all together and you see it's looking so creamy and risotto like and then you can just pour in those last bits of butternut squash And there you go. I like then chopping up a little bit of coriander just to put on the top. Tastes good, but it also makes it look really nice. So if you're serving this to family and friends, then I'd really recommend this part. Perfect. And then, yeah. It's ready to serve. Just drizzle a little extra olive oil on top. And a little bit of pepper. And there you go. It looks absolutely delicious. <laughs>